Hi, it's Frank Del Rio and welcome back to my video blog, your place online for real estate information, ideas, and how to get the most out of the real estate market. Today we're gonna to talk about the six biggest home seller mistakes and how working with my team and I will help you avoid them. Now it is important for all of our home selling clients to know and understand that these mistakes, they're absolutely avoidable. In fact, as a home seller working with us, we guarantee full control over your property saleability in the open market. So I wrote them down, one through six, they're in no order of importance. I'm going to get started with number one, the single biggest mistake is overpricing your property. The honest truth is, if you're working with us, it's almost impossible and highly unlikely that that's gonna happen because of my 14 year experience as a certified residential expert in Southern California homes, I know the value of homes exquisitely. It has been my steadfast goal in representing clients to help them price their property at the highest level possible to get top market value today. The second biggest mistake is the inability to show the home. Obviously, it stands to reason that you have to make your home available to the largest pool of buyers to increase the chances of it selling. And if, you're show, if, if when you're showing the homes, it's filled with obstacles for them, you can almost guarantee your chances of selling it are also gonna be filled with obstacles. So we've got some great, great techniques that we use to help sellers get through this. Number three is another big mistake when a home seller is unwilling to depersonalize or declutter their home. Right now, in our inventory, we have very nice properties, but it's really scarce with the nice stuff. As long as your home is clean and it's free of clutter and it's marketable, it should have no problem getting the highest top value right now. So you gotta de depersonalize and declutter your home to really stand out from the crowd. Number four I wrote down, the biggest mistake is unpleasant odors in your home. If you have animals or let's say you smoke occasionally and it leaves an unpleasant odor in the home, not for you, but you have to remember the way we live in a home and the way we sell a home are completely different. So it's best to have your home professionally clean with the focus on having the odors neutralized. So think about that if you're gonna be putting your property up for sale or even if you have it for sale right now, consider those factors for yourself. Number five is another big one. It's when a seller's unwilling to negotiate with the buyer. When you're working with my team and I, you have contracted a highly specialized marketing and negotiation team. Negotiating with buyers is exactly what we do. We live, eat, and sleep negotiations. So we're gonna handle all of this for you and get you top dollar for your home. Number six, the last one, is unwillingness to maybe do some repairs. And I really want you to think about this. I don't, I don't mean fix the entire property for the buyer. What we're talking about here is if you get into a escrow with the buyer, they made an offer on your home, they're making an investment in purchasing your property it's very likely they're gonna have some concerns, some small, some big, right? You could probably remember when you were purchasing a property and you had concerns of your own. All we're saying is that within reason, it's wise to make some concessions if you need to satisfy the buyer in order to move the deal forward. The last thing that you want is your escrow to fall apart over something that was so small, you know, it could have been helped by being open to a repair or two. Now, when you're working with us, we're gonna guide you through this whole process we're gonna help you understand if the buyer's concerns are our typical concerns or if they're completely unnecessary, ultimately helping you make the best decision for you and your family. So that's it, those six right there is what you want to avoid for yourself. I hope this information was helpful for you. As always, if you know of someone or you yourself, maybe you know of someone like a friend, a coworker, uh, one of your friends from your social communities like Facebook or LinkedIn, and they're interested in buying or selling real estate, connect with us immediately, you'll be glad that you did. And remember, when it comes to buying or selling real estate, Frank gets it done. Have a great day.